Being able to create formulas is one of the most important functionalities of Excel. To be precise, this is one of the reasons why people use Excel. So, let's see how they work. Let's select cell E10. Let's type there 8 plus 2. By pressing Enter, although we'd expect to see the number 10 as the result of the operation, Excel just displayed the text 8 plus 2. In Excel, if we want to perform a mathematical operation, we should first use the equal sign and then type the numbers. So, let's go to cell E11 and type equals first and then 8 plus 2. As soon as we press Enter, Excel will return the result of the operation, which is 10. The only difference uh, between cells E10 and E11, as we can see, is the equal sign. As we can see in cell E10, we haven't typed the equal sign before the operation 8 plus 2. This is why Excel considers this as plain text. In cell E11, on the other hand, as we can see in the formula bar, we've typed the equal sign first and then the operation 8 plus 2. That's why Excel returns the result of the operation, which is 10. Let's see another example. We go to sheet 1. Suppose we have inserted our revenue in cell D5, 1000, and our expenses, 500, in cell D6. Now, let's go to cell D8 and perform the subtraction and display the balance. As we have already mentioned, we have to start with an equals sign. Then we type the revenue, that's 1000 minus the expenses, that's 500. And press Enter or click on the green arrow on the formula bar. Excel has now displayed the result. That's 500, which is correct. As you can also see in the formula bar, we have typed equals first. Then the revenue amount minus and then the expenses amount. These two examples may have produced a correct result, but we shouldn't use Excel like that. You are right. Let's see the correct way to do this. We're going to calculate the result once more. We have the revenue amount and the expenses amount here as well. And we're going to calculate the result in cell H8 using a different method this time. As we've already mentioned, we're going to start with the equal sign, but we're not going to continue with the number 1000, which corresponds to the revenue. We're going to enter the cell reference. Since number 1000 is displayed in cell H5, we're going to type H5. Then, we'll type minus and instead of typing 500 which is the number corresponding to expensive we're going to type the reference of the cell that displays number 500 which is 86 finally we press enter the result is 500 again but as you can see in the formula bar we have typed the cell references, not the cell values. Now, let's see the reason why the second way is more correct than the first one. Let me remind you that in the first method, we have used cell values, while in the second, we have used cell references. Suppose we have made a mistake with the expenses, which should be 800 instead of 500 we will have to correct the revenue. We click on cell D6 and then type the number 800 and press Enter. As you can see, the amount of the result hasn't changed. It remains 500, which is obviously incorrect. Now let's do the same in the second example. 
we select cell H6 and change the expenses to 800. But as soon as we press enter, we see that the amount of the result has changed into 200, which is the correct result. This is so because we have used H6, which is the cell reference, not the cell value itself. We have learned about formulas and how important it is to use cell references. Things are becoming more and more interesting, but at the same time, more difficult, so pay attention.